Yesterday, Joe announced that his advisors had chosen Kamala Harris, the most liberal senator in the Senate, and a member of the Senate, not necessarily the one you'd want to have, but one that we like as an opponent, because she folded up very badly in the primaries. In the primaries, she was expected to do okay, and she ended up not even going through the first state. She ended up leaving at almost zero vote. Her voting record was uh, less than and, and considered further left than super socialist Bernie Sanders. She had the most socialist record. Harris supports defunding the police, and she cheered L.A.'s decision to viciously slash the police budget. Kamala also said she opposes putting more police on the streets to protect community safety and reduce violent crime, and even suggested that suburban communities are safer because there are fewer police rather than the fact that they have fewer crimes. The fact is that they want to take the police out of suburbia. They also want to approve low-income housing for suburbia. I ended that. Harris is one of the first Democrats to co-sponsor Bernie Sanders' single-payer socialist takeover of health care. would be a disaster, which would cost $32 trillion. That's more than our country makes. That's more than our country has on a gross basis. would cost more than we have. Tr Bernie Sanders tried it with his own state, and it never worked. Never even came close. They never even instituted it. And it would bankrupt our country. Medicare for seniors and all of the things that would be destroyed. You would lose Medicare for seniors. She's, she said that she supports eliminating private health insurance and 180 million people that are very happy with their health insurance would lose that. They'd no longer have their doctor. You've heard this before. They'd no longer have their plan.